Okay, it's the big day. The car is all loaded. My backpack is loaded. Just finishing up my coffee. And i um, heading to the trailhead. <laughs> Saying goodbye to my rig for three months is kind of surreal. I'm feeling just really weird <laughs> about leaving my rig for three months. I've said before that my life has become kind of small, kind of contained. Um, I haven't been away from my rig for a single night in almost the three years that I've been on the trail, or three months that I've been on the road. And that's part of the reason I need to do this hike, because my life really has become kind of small. And... Um, Almost agoraphobic, I've said. I know it's probably not even close to what a real agoraphobia is, but um, this trip is going to be good for me. Get me out of my comfort zone. I've gotten too comfortable. Maybe that's it. And uh, so I'm uh, about two hours. What time is it? 8.30. I'm about two hours from being on the trail. And I will take you with me on my first steps on the Pacific Crest Trail. Everything is all uh, turned off and locked up, and the rig is going to be just fine. All right, let's go. Ready to start my thousand mile hike on the Pacific Crest Trail, heading northbound next stop. Well, not next stop, but ultimately I'm going to end up in Canada. So <laughs> when I run into people on the trail and they say, where are you heading? I get to say Canada. I am starting in California because I wanted to make sure I crossed the Oregon border. So starting in California here at the trailhead in Said Valley and uh, getting ready to spend three months on the trail. Wish me luck. Let's get started. Every journey begins with a single step, and I know this isn't going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. Looking forward to it. Well, I made it to my first water source, a pipe spring. I think it's a good place to fill up, probably for the night. Alright, I'm uh, 1.7 miles and 1,200 feet in. That's a heck of a climb. My pack weighs 35 because I had to fill up as much water as I could down at the last water source and also try to cold cook my dinner because the next water is three and a half miles away which wouldn't normally be a big deal except that it was a 3,000 foot climb from the last water source it's about 2,000 feet from here and this is my first day out um, and of course I didn't get out to train as much as I wanted I didn't do any hills with a full pack and my quads and whatever these things are <laughs> are really burning. Um, it's going to be good. I'm going to get in shape on this trail, that's for sure. I think I'm a little sunburned, even with my hat on. My sunscreen is in there somewhere. I brought zinc oxide for sunscreen and coconut oil, which is like SPF 8. But uh, yeah, so I'm resting right now. It's kind of hot today too, and I know I, kinda, I don't know if I'm pee stroke or if I'm burned or what. I think I'm burned. And um, I don't know. I might make it to the water source today. It's only like 1.30 and then I really feel like I could lay here and take a nap. So I might just do that. But day one on the trail. <laughs> what did I, what did I say? 1.7 miles in. Just 998 miles to go. Actually, it's. I think my total is... Um, and it, my total is trying to shield you from the wind. My total hike I think is going to be more than 1,000 miles, I think. But we'll figure it out at the end. All right, I'm gonna take a nap. My break is over and up and up and up I go. What a view. This is beautiful. And what a gorgeous view of Said Valley and the Klamath River. Welcome to Pacific Crest Trail, California. I almost feel like I'm on top of the world. Not too shabby, huh? Night one on the Pacific Crest Trail. And what of you?
And it feels so good to finally rest my poor little feet. and potatoes. This trail is winding down. It was a it was a tough day. I'm gonna be honest. I only did three and a half miles, <laughs> but it was like a 25 foot 2500 foot climb, and I had a full pack, and I didn't get out and train as much as I wanted because life, you know. And uh, so, yeah, it was a rough day. And I kind of have been saying since the beginning that I'm probably going to end up having to get conditioned on the trail. And that's okay. That's all right. I'm in no hurry. I was talking to my good friend last night and she said, you know, I just realized, like, if you decide to take longer or spend a few days somewhere, you totally can, huh? Because you don't have to come back to, you know, you don't have anything pressing. And so I think that's going to be the difference between this hike and the John Muir Trail is uh, I already felt it today. It was just like, you know, I stopped every five minutes, every 30 seconds if I needed to. I'm in no hurry. doesn't matter. I don't have to get anywhere. The whole point is just to be out here. So just enjoying living in the moment and uh, already not bad for my first day on the trail. And I just can't wait to can't wait to see what else is coming. But check out my home. <laughs> I'm really this is good. This is good. I think I needed this. My dinner. Can you see? My dinner is cooking in my little cozy that I bought and or that I made. And stay tuned for that because I just discovered another use for that. So I have already found some pretty amazing uses for that little piece of Reflectix, so carrying over from my RV life. And I think, I think I'm going to say goodnight. It is, uh, it's almost six o'clock. I am really tired. I got here at this spot at like four, I think, and just found shade and have just been laying down. I was really tired. And um, so I'm hoping that I'm going to sleep really well tonight. And I just realized also I was on the John Muir Trail at the end of August, well, all of August until uh, September. And uh, so totally different, uh, more hours of daylight now than I, I had on the John Muir Trail. So um, I might be going to sleep when it's still daylight out, but that's okay. And tomorrow I get to get up and do it again. I can't believe I'm going to be doing this for three months. So hope you enjoyed my first day on the Pacific Crest Trail, 1,000 miles, section hiking Oregon and Washington, stopping at the Canadian border. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Adventures from the Pacific Crest Trail. I'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging with me. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Mwah.